Hey there, Survivor's Cougar here, back with more Subnautica Below Zero Early Access gameplay. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I promised you that we were going to make a sea truck storage module. I've got everything that we need to do to do that right now, so let's get that done. Storage, storage, that's the storage module. It requires plasteel ingot, an advanced Beans wiring kit, approaching. Seek shelter. and three pieces of lead. And now we have a storage module. I'm going to hook it up, and I'm going to drive out to the lily pads and we're going to go diving in the deep lily pads today that's the plan so to hook this up let me see well, it's only one piece i think we can drive the truck over here instead of piloting it over ourselves oh great the sun's setting perfect timing so the yes they removed the rear view mirror camera here uh that's fine you just line it up nose to nose and spin around it's all good uh, okay, so I'm heading out to the lily pads, and we're gonna go down into the deep lily pads looking for a piece of Alan's body, our first piece of Alan's body. I will meet you guys out at the lily pads. Hey guys, we're not quite at the lily pads yet, but we are at that place where we discovered the sea truck fragments last night. The. Whoa, Chelly. Oh, Chelly. Sorry. I like that they changed her coloring. She's not quite as pink now. Uh, but th this is right around where we found the sea truck parts last night. And when we when we were down there... Oops. Apparently we didn't go this way. When we were down there, uh, we discovered that there was a an Alan body part nearby. Or not a body part, but a, a beacon marking a location for an alien artifact. Architect artifact. Uh, I think we're going to need the zapper here. Let's charge it up, and... Boom! See, uh... You didn't like that? Aww. Serves you right. You're trying to make me lunch. So, yeah, we... I When we were down here, and I was looking around, and I said, hey, that uh, beacon marker there is pretty darn close. It's probably right around here. So I thought on the way out to the lily pads we would check it out and indeed it's right there. Excellent. We've seen this apparatus site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I We've have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. Good. I will provide a signal. Good. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Which one would be new? I'm not sure. PK-8 we had. Z-13 may be new. Q-59 I think we had. And 6M we had. And then this is LFO. This apparatus here was has been in the game right from the start, Fossil Excavator. I think it was one of the very first updates that added this, but they've moved it, moved it to a new location and given it a new purpose. And it also has an ion cube here now. Great. Yeah, I think we, we have the ability to make ion batteries and ion power cells now. I, I could be doing that at some point. But, honestly, I find him a little OP. Uh, Alan's calling. I got it. I got it. How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. <laughs> Damn straight. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? 
I hope to see the forms of my people again. Well, at least he approves of our thumbs. I mean, that's good, right? He likes our thumbs. So as I was driving around there while he was talking, I saw there was a marker for actually Alan body piece or something. Um, which, so that would be the Alan body cache. And that is what we were heading for right now. So we just got the marker that we need. Uh, if I can get us to the right place, which I haven't yet. Uh, sorry, they changed this all up. It's all completely different now. Wow. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be in here. This is not going down to the deep lilies. But I'm not going to wander around forever uh, looking for the proper entrance. I'll meet back up with you guys when I'm actually there. Okay, well, I haven't found the entrance that I was looking for yet, but I have found this with a, a, an architect artifact marker right underneath us. So let's go check this out as long as we were passing right over it. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Good. Is it active, or it's just kind of monitoring? What is it? Will it tell us? It's a ground sampler. TBD. New blueprint synthesized. Unlocked the Recyclotron. That's a new addition. And something I've not tried out yet. Apparently it allows you to put... It's basically an unfabricator. Anything you put in there, it will break it down to its base components. Cool. Okay. Where's Mr. Truck? Well, we are in the right area. Not there quite yet. Now, that should disappear, shouldn't it? That marker? I can unmark it myself. I just need to remember to do so. Uh, since we're in Chelly territory here, maybe I should uh, take a second and repair the truck. And maybe drink some of our recycled water, if we need it. Claimed water. There we go. Took a little bit of food away, but that's okay, because we have the thermal knife. So we can get food on the go anytime we need. Yeah, we're in the right area. Um, if this takes too long... I will edit to us being where we need to be. Otherwise, let's look around for a minute and see if we can figure it out. I'm actually a little too far. We're under the bergs now. I gotta head back toward Delta Isle. Oh, hi, Jelly. Zap. Bye, Jelly. You know, it's not that I want to hurt you, you beautiful beast. You're bringing it on yourself by trying to gnaw on me. I don't have a scan on this playthrough of the Chelly. Sorry, I thought I thought she was going to bite us again, so I started charging up the, the zapper. Oh, yes. Keep forgetting we have the uh, afterburner now. So that's not, that's down to the deep geysers, the new area. We don't necessarily want that. Okay, let's try down here. Well, this doesn't look right either, but there's a sea monkey nest there. This may lead us where we need to be. That looks like it's heading in the right direction. Let's scan whatever's in that sea monkey nest. We're still looking for the 
uh, horsepower module upgrade and uh, the booster tank. Uh, we already have the afterburner, but that's okay. Get it out of the way. Seedling lily pad. That's new. Well, it's newly scannable anyway. It may have been in the game before this, but... Okay, this is the right idea. This will take us toward where we need to be. Ooh, so pretty down here. Yeah, I could stay down here forever. This is gorgeous. But it's not the deep lilies. Okay, deep lilies there. That definitely goes deep. Okay, let's see if we can get the truck over here. Hmm. So we're over by Meta's base now. Meta's base is right over there. Because we've been here before. Remember we saw that spiky trap? Okay, let's bring the truck over. So we actually... I think we want to be a little farther east, but we can get down deep there and then see where that takes us. Uh, truck? Where are you, truck? We're hiding from me. Now, we hooked up the, the storage module, and normally I would pack it full of some good stuff, like food and water and power cells and batteries before heading out, but I've, I've the power cells that are in here are new, and I have an extra battery with me. Oh, there's another fragment down there. That looks like it could be the grapple arm. Another prawn suit grapple arm fragment. Which we do need as well. Even though we don't have a prawn suit yet. Yeah, I hope this is going to be two of something. Two of two! Excellent. New blueprint synthesized. We have been burning through rubies like crazy. I should be picking those up. Down here. And we're also on the lookout for nickel ore. That's going to be down here. And we're going to need that for the... Sea truck Mark III depth upgrade. We're going to need nickel ore. I, I do want to keep an ear out for guys, for these dudes bringing me stuff, because... Yeah, I have the blueprints pinned. Hopefully they're going to bring me some nickel ore, or potentially even, I think, kyanite. I don't know. They've never brought me kyanite before. Yeah, nickel ore. See? He brought me some nickel ore. Okay. Thanks. This is not where I was before, is it? Where we could get down nice and deep. It was through there, I think. Should probably bring some gel. No, this wasn't it either. Shoot. Sorry, guys. I got us a little turned around down here. Which is understandable, I hope. Place. Uh, that's the other sea truck or uh, prawn suit arm that I saw that I didn't bother scanning because we don't need it anymore. And now we're right back where we started. Oh, oh sorry, didn't mean to hit you. I tried to be gentle. Here we go. Oh, hold on to your lunch. This artifact could provide useful information. Processing. So we're not I even... Can visualize the location where we may find an important component for my body. Great. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark surface landscape. Dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Curved Arctic spires, perhaps? Glacial basin -y? So he probably just marked his uh, body part location out in the glacial basin. Oh, well, the one 
spare battery I had on me is now history. Yeah, we're not even in the deep lilies, guys. This is not where uh, I wanted us to be, but it's still neat down here. And we stumbled across uh, an architect site in the process. See, you know, this is why... Uh, Alan's calling. I got this. Why do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. No, important memories. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you. If you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, it can be sad. On a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. But we do have written and oral histories. History is interpreted, and memories are not perfect. This is true, but it's what we have. We try to learn from history, some of us more than others. Memory is complex. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. I hope as we continue to discover these artifacts, my connection will get stronger. And I hope that these discussions get shorter. It's just, it's just too much. I, I, I could take a hacksaw to that script we just listened to, make it half as long, and make it better in the process. Anyway, probably too late for any of that now. Okay, well, we are getting somewhere because now we're all the way back over at the first shipwreck part. I believe this this is the, the stern of the ship. Uh, we really need to find the bow of the ship. Right? This is the stern. Yes, it is the stern. So we're in the wrong place. We're way too close to the island. And, you know, this is why I don't like using a map or the scanner room or anything like that is because you find the coolest stuff when you get lost in Subnautica. And that's always been the case for me. Getting lost for me is literally half the fun. Uh, it's it's telling us it's down there, but it's got to get in from here. If I can find the bow of the ship again, we'll be fine. There's a light stick down there. Oh, is this Omega Base? Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, and thank you to those who pointed it out, uh, that I forgot to scan the glass roof for the multi-purpose room when we were there before. But I actually realized that uh, as I was putting the, the helmet footage together. So, the helmet cam footage. So I, I went and did it myself off camera without you guys. We've used up both these power cells. I think I gotta go a little bit easier on the afterburner. Because we do not have a moon pool for the quick recharge. Yeah, now we're in the right place. Okay. Uh, so... Yeah, I like getting lost. I, I like not knowing where I'm going. I don't want to know where I don't even use beacons. You, you haven't seen me craft a single beacon. And we're using these beacons that pop up automatically because I want to see how the story plays out. But I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. Do ya? A body component is near. Good. Okay, they have prettied it up down here big time. 
Let's swim around for a minute. We haven't actually reached our destination. Let's just look around. Maybe we'll grab a couple of um, nickel ore pieces. Um, some of these glowy spores. Flowering spores, which are needed for crafting later. You cannot plant them. New blueprint synthesized. But they are a component in benzene. We also have these, and these are new. Or, I mean, something like them was here before, but you couldn't scan it, you couldn't pick it up. And I'm going to pick up a few of these and bring them back to base and plant them. You can plant these, and I'm not sure what they're needed in yet. But we'll bring some back. Now that we have the storage module, I'm just going to freaking load up on as many goodies as I can get down here. I don't need silver so much, but... I think that's probably enough flowering spores, although... Honestly, you can never have too many of them because you cannot produce them yourself. So you have to come back out here. Mesmer's trying to get me. Or a, a lily paddler. You, you, you don't want to have to come out here. It's kind of a, a trek to come out here just for a flowering spore to make some benzene. So I'm going to bring back as many as I can since we have an empty storage module on the sea truck right now. There's also nickel ore on the ceilings here be looking for that but I think we've got probably pretty much the nickel ore that we need right now between what the sea monkey brought us just now and they'll continue to bring that as long as we have that recipe pinned between the two that we found in the other cave the other area let's see I've got two four six of these I think that's gonna uh, I mean you can always get Warning. Get 30 rid of them seconds of oxygen remaining. later if you don't need them. For now, let's pop them in, a, in the sea truck storage module. Oh. Why did I have... I must have had a spare advanced wiring kit on me at some point. It's weird. Calorie intake recommended. We have three nickel ore, a bunch of the flowering spores, and a few of the cotton anemones. And we are down to 25% food, so I'm going to go ahead and eat one Vital of our signs stabilizing. nutrient food blocks. All right, I think we've gotten what we want to get out of here, unless we can see, find, quickly find another piece of nickel ore. I'll take a couple more if I can find them one. Yeah, you can never have too many rubies. That, those for all sorts of recipes. That will probably do it for nickel ore. We've got enough. We've got a bunch of rubies. We've got the flower spores. Okay, let's call... Whoa, spiky trap. Let's call it one more ruby here. Nope, nope, nope. No, I'm not big on organizing my, my storage. Deal with it. Okay, then. Onward to the Alan body part. And uh, again, they have changed this area up quite a bit. Uh, we may get a little bit lost back in here, but I, I hope to get us there eventually. Oh, you know what else I'd like to find down here? There is a... Uh, b -b -b what are they called? Trivalve? The trivalves? Those are the, the new pets in Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, no cuttlefish in this one, but we do have trivalves. And there is a trivalve 
egg down here. I don't know exactly where it is. I stumbled across it the last time I was down here, and I'm not sure that I can retrace my steps, except this looks promising. This looks familiar. Hi. What are you? Hang on, I need my flashlight. You can't see him. Can't really see him that way either. But there we go. There's a trivalve egg. Loop plant. These are scannable now. So we're going to have our own trivalve, guys. And gals. And I tell you what, hmm, I would love to run another little informal contest on who gets to name the for who gets to name the tri valve because that was a lot of fun last time, and uh, the viewer who picked the name for uh, our cuttlefish, I thought did the well two of them did the first viewer picked Nugget, Nugget. And then the next viewer for the next trivalve picked chicken. So we had nugget and chicken, or chicken and nugget. And it worked out great. Those are terrific names. Uran Uraninite crystal. Uh, don't know if we'll ever build a nuclear reactor, but might as well grab it since we're here. Grand Cotton Anemone. These have a name now. These did not ha used to have a name or be scannable. Grand Cotton Anemone. Very nice. You know, in terms of naming stuff, I, I, I just wanted to throw it out there that Fevered Pepper is redundant. Fever gives you a high temperature. Peppers are hot. So you've got a hot, hot thing. I think the the person who named it was on the right track. It just doesn't need to be quite as redundant. But I judge. You know, it it may actually make sense instead of driving the truck with the with the storage module on it around down here. Maybe we park the truck in a central location and I figure out where to go on foot, as it were. We just drop off what we've picked up so far. Wow, it's two, three things. Actually, I'm gonna keep the creature egg on us so that we can throw it right in the tank when we get back. Okay, so we came in, I think we came in this way, right? We came in from there. This is where the cuttlefish, or the trivalve egg used to be, I think. Which means we need to go... We need to go back out this way. No, I feel like we were on the right track. I feel like we go through this chamber. I'm just not seeing a way out here. Hmm. Okay, well, I've done this wrong. In which case, if this is a dead end and we're not going to get anything out of here, let's go ahead and take the truck back a little bit. We'll back up. Or backtrack. try either a different direction or a different entrance exit from the big room that we started in. There used to be alien pillars kind of marking your way. I don't know if those are still here. 
but I do feel like it'd be easier for me personally to, to get and keep my bearings and my sense of direction if I was doing this without the truck. So let me just try swimming around a little bit. Ah, spiky trap. Get off, creeps. I do not like those things. They give me the creeps. All right, so we're up. Oh, I was about to drive right over another one. Oh, wait, there was something else new I can scan here. Or was there a fish swam right in front of us? Okay. Stay off me. Yuck. With your slimy little tentacles. Is this the way we just came? This is the way we just came. See, does the the body cash marker give us any sense of where we should be going? No. I'm gonna have to get back in the truck soon. All right. Well, we're back in the main chamber. I'm gonna take a right and go down. Here we go. There's an alien pillar. At this point, I could absolutely get out and swim there. Yeah, let's let's do that. We're very close. And at one point during early access, there was oxygen in this site that we're going to. It was a closed site. Uh, now, I'm not sure. Sorry, I, I know we're in the wrong place. I just, I saw these rubies over here. And normally I'd try not to get greedy with the rubies, but we've got an empty sea truck storage module, so. There's a squidster down here. Squiddy, no, 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 no. No squid. Don't like you when you bite me like that. Okay. Where's the truck? We gotta keep going deeper. Just gotta get, gotta do this with the truck, I guess. At you, my allergies. You're not helping. Cotton anemone. Stir. At least the spiky traps can't grab us. Here we go. We found it. Our 
one sec. Let me drink some water. I have no food left. I have one health kit, and I have not loaded up the sea truck with any spare supplies. Oh, good. There's a force field, which means there's probably oxygen here. Yeah. Whoa. This is completely different. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. God, gorgeous ancient ornamental plant, scannable. Oh, it's actually got an, uh, an entry to read too. And this is what we came here for. I'll scan that in one second. Let's just take a quick look around, make sure there's nothing else interesting here that we should either scan or pick up. Oh, these are beautiful. These little pools. Nice work, devs. This room looks fantastic. I'd like to have one of these in my backyard. Shouldn't be expensive. Our first architect component, guys. The architect skeletal structure. This component you found. It is one we can use to fashion my story for you. New blueprint synthesized. Skeleton so strong, it can bear the forces of interplanetary travel if necessary. Provided no infection is present. Correct. Good. Okay. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we found our first alien component of his body, and we're going to be looking for more of those down the road. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the Subnautica Below Zero Early Access gameplay. There'll be more coming. Stay safe, survivors.